What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 2 of tutorial series on deploying a Flask application on Amazon ECS using Forget. In the previous tutorial, we had created a repository within the Elastic Container Registry. And now in this tutorial, we will create the Flask image as well as the Nginx Docker image. So in the very first video of this series, I had mentioned that uh, we will use the images from the previous tutorial series. Uh, but instead, I thought to cover the creation of Docker images within this series itself so that if anyone is directly watching this series, don't have to revisit the previous or earlier tutorial series, right? So let's get started. So in this tutorial, we are going to launch the fresh EC2 instance. We are going to configure it for Docker and then uh, we are going to clone the code. So that's basically this one. So this is my Flask application that is Flask app hyphen Docker directory, right? So here I have Docker image for it. So if I click on Docker file, so it says from Ubuntu and few updates and then we are copying requirements.txt then Flask app to the slash opt directory, right? And then we are installing the requirement packages for running the Flask application, right? And finally, we are running the unicorn command. So this is how the Docker file of the Flask application looks like. Now within requirements.txt, we are installing Flask package using pip3, right? So that's Flask application. Apart from that, we have nginx directory, right? So in that we have two files that is Docker file and Flask app configuration file. So this is our Docker file. So this is how it looks like. And then we have flask app.configuration, right? So I'm not explaining each and everything in detail because I had covered uh, these things somewhere in the previous tutorial series, right? So this is going to be the fast forward uh, kind of thing, right? So that's our Nginx web server. And finally, we will use Docker Compose to build the images. Apart from building the images, I will also show you the application in the running mode from the EC2 instance, right? So that's why we have this container name in place, right? So that's the very high level of uh, what it looks like or the directory structure, right? So now going back to AWS management console, uh, we will launch the new EC2 instance. So navigate to EC2 management console. Once you are there, click on launch instance. Now within AMI, we are going to select Ubuntu Server 18.04. So select this. From the instance type, we will select T2 Micro. Next, this configuration I am leaving as it is. Next, add storage. I will increase it to 15 GB. Next, add a name tag. I will say ECS Flask Docker next security groups so we can create a new security group so let's create the new one so i will say ecs flask docker now here we have port 20 to open we will also open port 80 right so that uh, i can show you the application in running mode right so port 80 anywhere say review and launch launch select the key pair so i have this flask key pair so i'm going to select that i acknowledge and launch instance now our instance is in running straight right so we will log in into the instance so basically we are going to ssh so copy the public IP address, navigate to terminal. I will say SSH hyphen I followed by the PEM file that is flask.pem in my case, followed by the username. So it's going to be Ubuntu at the rate DNS that is IP address, enter. Yes. Now 
now we have successfully logged in into the ec2 instance right so since this is the fresh instance the very first command that we are going to execute is sudo apt get update oops Now once we have the updates, uh, we are going to install docker compose or we are going to install docker. So that's going to be sudo apt get install docker hyphen compose hyphen y. So it will take a while. Now the docker is successfully installed so we will clear it and now we are going to clone the repository right so I will copy this I will say git clone followed by the repo So now we have the repo, so cd ecs flask Now we are going to perform sudo docker-compose up hyphen hyphen build right Since this image is being built very first time so it will take a while So I will share the link of this repository within video description, right? So you can directly use it. Now we have the Flask application and the Nginx server up and running. So let's try to access the application using this public IP address of this EC2 instance, right? So copy this. And as you can see, uh, the application is up and running, right? So let me stop this. Now, if we look at the images, so that's going to be sudo docker images. Right, so here we have two images that is Nginx and Flask cap, right? And if you remember, then we had created two repo uh, in the previous tutorial right and we are going to post individual image uh, within the respective repository so well this is how you can build the images and now as you can see we have the images right so we will probably work on the next steps to push this images within the ecr or the repository that we have created in the previous tutorial right so well that's it for this tutorial and till that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.